All right, guys, let's do a quick RF alignment on the Silvertone radio. The IF frequency on this oldie is 175 kilocycles. It's important to start with the uh, IF frequency first before going to the oscillator. So uh, pretty straightforward. Four adjustments on the IF for the two IF filters, and uh, then we'll move over to the oscillator. You'll see I got this coil in my hand. I'm not going to use a, a direct connection for the RF signal injection. I found at times that uh, you can uh, impair or compromise your uh, results. So a little inductive pickup here. I'm going to place this on top of the uh, grid cap of the 6A7. I've already got a signal being generated at 175 kilocycles or kilohertz. All right, we'll be starting right here. Coil L2, it's our first IF. We'll be adjusting uh, C4, C5, and kind of go back and forth. And I mentioned that loop that I have, kind of an inductive loop there for the 175 kilocycle signal. I've got this grid lead coming off of L1 right here. Going to the grid is disconnected. C4, C5. So we'll start here with C4. Alright, you can see uh, definitely things are improving here. Let me uh, turn down my gain. And I'm using a CW carrier. Okay, it looks like I went by peak. We'll put it in a holding pattern right in there. Now let's go over to C5. This is on the uh, secondary side of the IF filter. Big gain there. Let me adjust the attenuator again. So you can see the swing there I'm able to make. Let me uh, try to get this peaked. All right, now let's run back down here to uh, C4 again. You can see how they play off each other. Okay, I think we're good there. And one more time here. All right, we'll call that good enough. Let's uh, move along here to the uh, second IF. Up next, we'll adjust uh, C10, C11 right here, the uh, second IF. We'll start with uh, C10. C10 is located uh, right here, and C11 here. Okay, you can see here I should be able to peek now at this uh, location. We'll just stop right there for now. Now let's go back up to C11. The area shaded right here in pink is where I did my tie-in on my meter to sample the AVC voltage here for the alignment of C4, C5, and up to C10. I want to switch over here and pick up um, the uh, cathode and uh, look at the voltage here on the uh, detector tube here to be able to properly get uh, C11 adjusted. And I think we'll be able to tweak C10 again from that location as well. Let me uh, move the leads over. Let's try C11 right here again. Uh, just because of the uh, circuit design and the way the uh, volume control here resides in this uh, IF filter loop, I actually need to turn the uh, volume up. You'll see the meter increasing here. Now let me go back to uh, C11 here and see if we can see a change. The uh, trimmer is a little tight, so uh, I'm going to switch over here to a uh, metal tool, which I don't like to do. But let's see if we can peek this out now. Okay, that looks good. Let's get back down here to C10. Now 
in one more time on C11. Okay, we've got the uh, IF adjusted here. I'll go ahead and run back through um, C4, C5, C10, C11 one more time. Let's move over to the oscillator side. Okay, we just wrapped up there on the IF alignment, 175 uh, kilocycles or kilohertz. So uh, the uh, four trimmers there seem to be uh, properly adjusted for the IF. Now it's important to move over to the oscillator section. Uh, you can see I don't have a, a dial scale on the radio, but there's another way that we can get there um, and be, I think, fairly accurate. This is something I've done in the past. Still have the old analog meter here hooked up uh, to the AVC voltage so we can make sure that uh, we're peaked on a station. And uh, I've picked a, a local station here, 1440 uh, kilocycles. And I've got the uh, tuning condenser here uh, peaked. Okay, and uh, you'll see I've got my digital receiver out, and the importance of the digital receiver, you can see I'm tuned to uh, 600, excuse me, 1,615 kilocycles, and that's 175 uh, kilocycles above the uh, 1,440 uh, kilocycle station that I'm listening to. So we're actually looking at the uh, oscillator frequency at this point in time on the receiver in close proximity to the uh, radio itself. So that little zero beat that you heard, let me just tune off. You hear that? And then hear that? I'm actually able to uh, use the receiver and uh, peak, just kind of go back and forth between the uh, tuning condenser and adjusting the uh, oscillator adjustment over here on this side of the uh, oscillator coil until I can get my maximum signal here on my meter and of course have a, a zero beat and uh, not hear uh, you know those birdies either side so if I were to go uh, here now and just change the uh, frequency here on the digital receiver and go um, a below or above the oscillator frequency you'll uh, hear the, you'll hear the signal fade my uh, frequency counter is not sensitive enough, even with a near-field probe, to be able to uh, read the uh, actual frequency that uh, I think this will get me close. I've used uh, this method in the past and I uh, just wanted to uh, share it. Let's uh, drop down real quick to another uh, station. We'll use uh, 600 AM and uh, just make sure it tracks. So 600 plus 175 equals 775. Let's uh, put that in here. We'll turn that down just for a moment and uh, let's just run the uh, tuning condenser back this direction and let's peak okay right in there and I'll turn this up again and you can see that we're back at that um, zero beat. So the oscillator seems to be uh, tracking um, precisely. Turn the radio up. From the NBA. <laughs> That's all right. Molly had one of those in the pregame show. And there's uh, 600 AM. So I appreciate you guys uh, watching the alignment on the little uh, silver tone radio. Still want to get the long wire antenna out and. Uh, see what I can pick up on this thing at night. It's a uh, super hot sensitive uh, receiver so it has some really cool qualities. I'll go ahead and get the uh, cap on it, get it back in the uh, cabinet for now. A little cabinet works needed. Got a little bit of the uh, cracking lacquer that I showed uh, there where that one corner lifted and a couple other places that have showed themselves so I'll put that on the shelf and uh, we'll address that uh, maybe next spring. Thanks again. This will wrap up the uh, series on the uh, Silvertone radio from the uh, 1930 period. <laughs>